everyone. So our topic for today is simplifying rational algebraic expressions. But before doon tayo magpunta sa talagang topic natin, as usual, review muna ulit tayo. So simplify the following fractions. So we have number 1, 4 over 8. So in simplifying fractions, uh, we factor the numerator and the denominator. So 4, the factors of 4 are... Uh, are 2 and 2 and then factors of 8 prime factors 2 times 2 times 2 and then hanap tayo na magka pair ok so 2 over 2 cancel diyan ito isang pair so ang natira na lang dito lahat naman sila talaga meron ta merong uh, factor na 1 so pag walang natira dito sa so numerator ibig sabihin nun meron talaga yung 1 Okay, so ito yung natira dito. So, we have 1 half. Okay, for number 2, we have 10 over 15. So, the factors of 10, we have 2 times 5. And then, factors of 15, we have 3 and 5. So, ito yung magka-pair. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, ito na lang yung natira. So, we have 2 thirds. So, dun sa topic natin na simplifying rational algebraic expressions, we will apply this doon sa ating topic. Ang kaibahan lang, uh, meron tayong uh, mga polynomials, yung mga, sorry, polynomials din naman yan. Meron tayong mga variables na makikita. Okay, so, i-apply natin yung mga natutunan ninyo doon sa ating mga unang topic, which is factoring polynomials. Okay, let us have our first example. We have 4x plus 12 all over x plus 3. So, gaya ng ginawa natin dun sa fractions, if a factor natin, yung numerator and, as well as the denominator. So, we have 4x plus 12. This is factorable. We have two terms. 4x and 12 has a common factor which is 4. So, labas na natin yan. Factoring GCMF to. And then, divide 4x divided by the CMF is x plus 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then, the denominator x plus 3 is already prime. x plus 3 is uh, not factorable. So, kopihin na lang natin. Okay. So, gaya ulit nung ginagawa natin doon sa fractions. Pag meron magka-pair sa numerator and sa denominator, kinakanceled out natin yon kasi dinidivide natin yon actually. Ang sagot na lang doon is 1. So, dito sa numerator and the denominator, we have factors ng 4 and then x plus 3. The quantity of x plus 3. Tapos dito, x plus 3. Actually, dalawang factors yan ha. Isang 4 at isang x plus 3. So, ito, x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is equal to 1 na lang yan. Okay, so 1 na lang yan. Dito ko lagay. Ayan. So, ang natira na lang is 4 times 1, which is 4 over 1, or 4. Okay, for our next example, we have x squared minus 25 all over x squared minus 10x plus 25. So, kung mapapansin natin, uh, both the numerator and the denominator are factorable. So, if a factor muna natin yan. Ma'am, baka may magsabi, Ma'am, hindi ba pwede i-cancel out yung x squared and x squared dito? Kasi magkamukha naman sila. Ito pa, 25 saka 25. Sa math, na, sa math, personally, sinasabi ko sa mga sudyante ko na meron tayong mortal sin na tinatawag. Pag sinabi mortal sin, hindi, ka pwedeng, hindi mo pwedeng gawin. Hindi ka allowed gawin. Ah... Uh, so, dito sa math, meron din tayong mortal sin. Yung mortal sin na sinasabi ko is hindi ka pwede mag-cancel out kapag meron tayong negative or minus sign at saka plus sign. So, sila yung nagsisilbing hadlang. Okay, Tagalog na ha. Sila yung nagsisilbing hadlang para mag-cancel out ka sa numerator at siya sa denominator. So, parang uh, kahit kating-kating na yung kamay ninyo na i-canceled out yan, hindi pwede maghunos dili ka dahil meron tayong negative sa may minus sign tayo dito. Okay. So, ma'am, bakit po kanina yung x plus 3 uh, kinanceled out natin? Uh, magkaiba yun. Kasi yung x plus 3 kanina, isulat ko lang dito kanina, yung 4 
at saka yung x plus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3 over x plus 3, these are uh, considered as two factors. Nagmumultiply dyan eh. Ito, parehong pareho, as is. Isang factor to, isang factor yan. So, pwede kang mag-cancel out. Pero dito, hindi. So, para safe, i-factor mo muna. Factor mo muna. Okay, so, x squared minus 25 is factorable, difference of two squares. So, uh, square root of the first term, which is x, isang minus, isang plus. And then, the square root of 25 is 5. Okay, all over. This is a per, uh, perfect square trinomial. So, binomial yan. Okay, tapos yung the square of the first term is, the square root of the first term is x. The square root of the last term is 5. The sign of the middle term is negative. Okay, so ngayon, eto, dalawang factors yan. So, nagmumultiply ito. Ito isang term. Bale, lumalabas isang factor. At ito isang factor. Dalawang binomials. So, nagmumultiply ka dyan. So, pwede ka nang mag-canceled out. Okay. So, we have x minus 5. Tapos, dito sa denominator, meron ka ding x minus 5 quantity squared. So, yung da dating sinasabi ko, kung alin yung mas maliit ang exponent, canceled out mo na yun totally. Kasi, 1 na lang matitira. And then, dito, x minus 5, ito ay may matitira pang isang x minus 5. Tapos sa numerator, meron ka pang x plus 5. Ulitin ko, hindi siya pwedeng i-cancel out dahil merong plus dito at merong minus. Magkaiba sila. So, we have x plus 5 over, all over, x minus 5. For our third example, we have 4 minus n all over n minus 4. So, kung titingnan pa natin yung numerator, we have 4 here, and we also have 4 here in the denominator. Yung variable na n, meron din sa numerator as well as si, dito sa denominator, meron din tayong n. The only difference is that yung 4 dito is positive, and 4 dito sa denominator is negative. The same thing goes dun sa variable na n. This is negative doon sa numerator and then sa denominator it is positive. So parang pwede kang mag-cancel out pero hindi pa rin pwede kasi magkaiba nga sila ng signs. So what are we going to do? So ang gawin natin, mamili ka dyan kung alin ang gagayahin mo. So kung ito gagawin mong ganito sa mukha, mukha ng denominator or vice versa. Pero ang sa tingin ko sa akin, ang gagawin ko, gagayahin ko to yung nasa denominator. Since yung n, yung variable ang nasa unahan. So, gagayahin ko yung first term ko dito sa numerator, gagawin ko ding uh, n, yung variable. So, n, negative n, the sign of n here is negative, the sign of 4 is positive. Over, copy, n minus 4. Okay. So, ngayon, ang gagawin ko pa, since this is positive, gagawin natin positive. Ano yung ginagawa natin dati na sinabi ko sa inyo na uh, paano natin ginagawang negative, na positive yung first term? Kasi di ba sinasabi natin, as much as possible, yung first term is positive. Sinasabi natin, inilalabas natin yung negative. Negative 1 yun, actually. So, ito. So, ilalabas natin yung negative 1 dahil 1 yung uh, numerical coefficient dito. So, ilalabas natin yung negative 1. If this is 3n, negative 3n, ilalabas natin yung negative 3. So, ano yung numerical coefficient niya? So, negative 1 ang ilalabas natin. We don't need to write 1. Okay, parenthesis. Lahat ng signs dito, mababago. If this is negative, magiging positive. And if this is positive, magiging negative. And then, as is, copy the denominator. Okay, so kitang-kita na ngayon na meron kang pwedeng ma-cancel out. Why? Ang factors itong numerator is negative 1 and the quantity of n minus 4. Ang factors ng denominator is positive 1 times the quantity of n minus 4. So, walang plus or minus na nagahate, so pwede kang mag-cancel out. Okay, so ang natira dito, sabi ko kanina, meron kang negative 1 na factor. At dito, meron ka pang isang uh, 1, positive 1 na factor. So, negative 1 divided by positive 1 will give you negative 1. One.
Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. We have number 1, x squared plus 11x plus 10 all over x squared minus 100. So, both of the numerator and the denominator are factorable. So, number uh, the numerator, it is a general trinomial. So, dalawang binomials ang factors niyan. We have x, x dito. This is positive. So, pareho ng sign. The middle term is positive. So, parehong positive. Factors of 10 that when added, the sum is 11. We have 10 and 1. Over. Nanginginig. Tingko. Okay, we have. Talagang ganon. Okay. So, factors of x squared minus 100. We have x minus 10 and x plus 10. Okay. So, meron tayong uh, factors. Minumultiply natin yan, ha? So, pwede yan. This is one, uh, considered as one factor. Actually, this is one factor, one factor. So, hanapin natin yung common factors. So, x plus 10 and then x plus 10. So, this is cancelled out. So, natira na lang. We have x plus 1 over x minus 10. Itin ko, hindi pwedeng cancel yan, ha? Kasi may plus and minus. Okay, for our second given, we have x minus 2 all over 2 minus x. So, parang kanina, uh, same na variable, so the numerator and denominator, as well as the constant, the only different signs. So, gagawin natin, ga, itong denominator, ang gagawin ko namang numerator. Kung baliktad yung ginawa ninyo, okay lang, we will still get the same answer. As long as uh, the procedure or yung steps ng ginawa ninyo is correct. So, ang gagawin ko, itong denominator, gagayahin ko parang numerator. So, kopihin ko yung numerator, x minus 2, over negative x plus 2. And then, ilalabas ko tong negative dito, so, copy the numerator. And then, lalabas ko yung negative 1. So, x minus 2. And then, cancelled out. Will give me a 1 over negative 1 or negative 1. Loss of exponents. Ah, ah loss of exponents. Ah, integers. Sorry. Ah, positive divided by negative is negative. Given REE, we have 3x cubed plus x squared minus 10x all over x cubed minus 4x. So, both of the numerator and the denominator are factorable. So, dito sa numerator, uh, common factor is x. So, labas natin yung x. So, 3x uh, x cubed divided by x is th uh, 3x squared plus x squared divided by x is x minus 10x divided by x is 10. Okay, over, common factor is also x, x cubed divided by x is x squared minus 4. Okay. So, ito pwede na cancel, cancel out, pwede namang mamaya na lang para sabay-sabay. So, uh, 3x squared, or cancel na natin para tipid tayo mamaya sa pagsusulat x divided by x is 1. So, uh, yung trinomial, this is also factorable. General trinomial where a is greater than 1. So, factors niyan, dalawa. Dalawang binomials. Factors of 3, we have 1 and 3. Factors of 10, we have 2 and 5. Okay, cross multiply. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, uh, the sign of the last term is negative. So, ibig sabihin, magkaiba sila ng sign. And the sign of the middle term is positive. So, dapat yung 6 na to, yung mas malaking factor is positive. So, this is negative. So, we have x plus 2 and then 3x minus 5. Okay. So, burahin ko na to. Okay. 
Pasensya na kung muuga. Ang anak ko nandito sa tabi ko. Okay, so this is also factorable. Difference of 2 squares. So we have x minus 4. And then, uh, sorry, x plus minus 2. And x plus 2. Okay. So meron na tayo. Pwede na natin cancel out. Dahil factors na yan. So we have x plus 2. And x plus 2. So, natira na lang. We have 3x minus 5. Pwede na natin alisin yung parenthesis. And x minus 2. Okay. Okay.